everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious fresh green beans. This recipe is delicious. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my fresh green beans before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. I'm sorry guys. I was just laughing before the camera came on, so never mind me. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need some fresh string beans. So this is what I have. Now these here, these came from Amazon, okay? Nice fresh string beans. You order them, you get them to your house within a couple of hours. And right here, I have a nice bundle of string beans that I purchased from Myers. Now, you're gonna need some meat to make these green beans absolutely amazing. And I chose that we're going to use smoked turkey. So right here in this pan, I have some beautiful smoked turkey necks that I have boiled down to get them nice and tender. And I'm also gonna use some ham. Right here I have some beautiful ham pieces and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now we have some beautiful fresh garlic. We have a sweet Vidalia onion and I have some potatoes. These potatoes, let me show you what kind they are. They're, they came in this bag and they're called Sunburst Blend. So they come with the white potato, the red potato, and we're just gonna leave the skin on, okay? That skin on those potatoes is nice and thin. You're gonna need some chicken broth, and of course, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need over this way. You will need some red pepper flakes, and accent, the accent is optional. You will need garlic and onion powder, black pepper and sea salt. We have some amazing Maggie Pollo. If for some reason you can't find Maggie Pollo, get you some chicken powder. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. When is the last time you all had a nice fresh pot of fresh green beans? Today is the day for me to show you all how it's done, how you can have gorgeous, delicious green beans. Now, let's talk about the meat. When you are making these green beans, use any meat that you would like to use. You can use smoked turkey like I'm using today. If you're a person that doesn't eat pork, don't worry about that. You don't have to use the ham like I'm gonna do today. You can use um, uh, ham hocks if you like. A lot of times you all will see me use the salt pork or the, or the Joel bacon. I do have a green bean recipe out there where I use the Joel bacon. It's delicious. If I was able to find it, I would actually substitute the Joel bacon for the ham, but I wasn't able to find it. So we're going to use ham and this smoked turkey next, but I want to talk about the smoked turkey next really quickly. So what I had to do I brought my smoked turkey necks home and I put them in some water and I boiled them for two hours, okay? And so what we have here in this broth is a really smoky, delicious, flavorful broth right here that we're gonna save and these green beans are gonna be cooked in this smoked turkey broth. But what we're gonna do with these smoked turkey necks is we're gonna pull off, let me just show you. You see how it's kind of came apart? Look at all of this gorgeous meat here. It pulls apart just like simple like butter. We're gonna take all of this meat off of the actual neck and then we're gonna throw away the bones, but we'll do that a little bit later. We don't wanna put the green beans on top of these smoked turkey necks that I've boiled down because you don't wanna eat the bones. And, and this is so tender right now, you wanna take the bones out right now, okay? So when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so what we wanna do, let's go ahead and get this beautiful, nice, tender turkey meat off of the bone. Just like this, pretty simple. And listen here, my goodness, this turkey meat is so delicious. You see how simply it comes off of the bone? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Woo, this 
reminds me of Thanksgiving. You hear me? Smoked turkey is amazing. And it doesn't have to be the neck that you choose to use. You can get smoked turkey legs or smoked turkey wings. It's going to give you a great flavor. Now, let's just say you wanted to use, let's just say you wanted to use ham hocks. If you wanted to use ham hocks, you're going to do the exact same thing. You want to extract that smoke flavor from the meat and start a broth flavor uh, profile, okay? So you will take your ham hocks and you will put them in water and you'll boil them bad boys until they get nice and tender. And once they're nice and tender, you're gonna do this process where we're taking all of the meat off of the bone. See, I'm gonna discard this part and this turkey meat is what's going to go into our lovely green beans. Now, I get rid of the skin. Some of you might like to use the skin, but I don't. All I want is that gorgeous meat in there. Okay, just like so. Be right back. Okay, everyone. So now that we have all of the smoked turkey meat off of the bones and skin free, let's take it. Look how beautiful. Look how much I, I, I have. And I only had, you know, just a few necks. Okay, we're gonna put that meat right back into its broth, just like so. And I'm gonna show you how to make a very flavorful sauna bath <laughs> for our green beets. So the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is start chopping some veggies and get some spices. And we're gonna also use some chicken broth, okay? So let's take our garlic and I want to take the side of my knife and kind of whack it a little bit. When you do that, it helps to take the skin off. Otherwise, you're, you're going to be peeling for days trying to get that skin off. Okay? And it also helps to break down the garlic a little bit so you're not chopping forever. We're going to do the same here, just like so. This recipe is so simple. It's kind of like once you get everything in the pan, you just set it and forget it and let it just simmer. Okay, so now we're gonna chop this down. It's up to your discretion how you want your garlic, if you want bigger pieces or smaller pieces. When I make something like green beans or greens, I like to have my pieces of garlic kind of fine because no one wants to bite down into a huge piece of garlic, you know? This garlic is gonna really flavor this broth. It's gonna be like when I make my collard greens. You know how I always talk about that pot liquor? That's what we're getting ready to make right now. And you need that flavor of that garlic and that onions. All right. Okay, everyone. So now what I want to do is I want to chop some onion. It's up to your discretion how much onion you'd like to use. This right here, let's see. That's about all the onion I'm going to use. All right. And I want to chop it down nice and fine. Not too big and not too small. All right. We're going to take our onions and our garlic and we want to get it down into this broth with the smoked turkey and the garlic. When I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, my eyes are watering like a waterfall. In we go with the garlic and the onions. And what I wanna do is take some chicken broth and build up our broth because that's not enough. All right, just like so. Get that chicken broth in there. And then I wanna season this up very well. Now, okay, everyone, never mind my eyes. Those onions have my eyes watering. I wanna go in with some seasoning. So we put our chicken broth in, we put our onion and garlic. All right. Get some of these red pepper flakes in. If you have someone in your family that's really not a fan of the red pepper flakes, just omit it. You don't have to use it. Lots of black pepper is going to give you great flavor. That Maggie Pollo is a definite must. It's going to send these green beans over the top. We're going to use some salt, but we're using a little bit. Keep in mind that that Maggie Pollo does have salt in it. Okay, let's see. Let me open it from this way. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going in with garlic and onion powder. This is how we make that pot liquor. This pot liquor is gonna be so good, you can drink it right off of a flip-flop. Now, 
I'm gonna use accent, and like I said earlier, you don't have to use it, it's up to your discretion. Now, I'm gonna take some of this ham, not all of the ham that we're using, just a little bit. I want some of that flavor to come out of the ham as well into my broth. Okay, look at these ham pieces. I am a true fan of these ham pieces. It's almost like the ham, you know, from leftover from your holiday, just like so I'm putting those huge pieces in just like that. They have just a little bit of fat on them. It's gonna give us great flavor. So now that we have our broth over here coming up to a boil, what we wanna do is we wanna cut our potatoes. I've already washed them just in cold water. So now, it, it's up to you. If you have a potato like this, you can just throw it in there just like that. But me, I like to cut mine just like this. And keep in mind that the skin on these potatoes is so thin that you can eat it, okay? And it makes your dish look absolutely gorgeous with those beautiful colors. See this one, it was big enough where we could cut it into fours, okay? Just like this, I'm gonna continue cutting my potatoes and I'll be back. Look at this gorgeous color on this potato. Beautiful. Okay, everyone, so I've rewashed my potatoes and I have them right here in this bowl with nice cold water. The cold water is so the potatoes don't turn brown. They'll oxidize just because the inside has hit the air. But by putting, soaking them in water, that won't happen. So they're sitting there. I wanna show you how to snap the green beans. It's really simple, but when you're going through your green beans, you wanna look for bad green beans like this one. It doesn't look the greatest and you see that it's kind of flimsy. Get rid of it, okay? So now this is what a nice fresh one looks like. And you can see that it has a stem at the end. What you wanna do is you wanna snap the ends off. Pretty simple, all right? Snap it down the middle so you have a nice size green bean and that's it. This is something that I did as a kid and it was so much fun to me. Growing up uh, at my dad's house, we had a garden and it was so exciting to be able to see the green beans uh, grow and the potatoes grow and everything was so exciting for me because I was interested in food and cooking at a very young age. But this is something that I love to do. I know you all have heard me talk about the stories of Shuck in the Corn and how much I loved it. This is what I love to do as well. And I used to like, my dad would always tell me, if you don't hear that snap, it's not a good, you know, green bean. So let's hear if we see the snap. There it is right there. That's that famous snap that you're looking for when you have a fresh green bean. I'm gonna continue to do these when I come back. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, everyone, so we have all of the green beans nice and snapped, and they have been washed. Take a look at them. Here's what they look like, and we're going right into our pot liquor, just like so, all right, with our nice, fresh, snapped beans, and we're going to let this cook on a medium heat. You don't want to cook it up too high because they'll turn into mush. You cook them on medium or you cook them on low. I'm going to cook mines right between medium and low. Okay, and when I come back, I'm going to let you know that perfect time to put your potatoes in and that extra ham. Take a look at these green beans, guys. They look great already. They've only been setting in the pan for just five minutes. Okay, everyone, so an hour has went by. Take a look at these green beans. They smell amazing and they look gorgeous too. So here's what they look like. Look at that pot liquor down in there. And now's the perfect time where we only have a half an hour left to cook our green beans. Now's the perfect time to put your potatoes in because if you put them in too early, they'll turn into mush because the potatoes take, you, the green beans, I'm sorry, take longer than it would take to cook our potatoes. So now let's put the potatoes in just like so, okay? Just nestle them down in there, as many as you would like to have in there. And when you go to stir it, just be careful because you don't wanna, you know, like break up your potatoes. Beautiful. This is what I call Southern 
green beans. Listen here, everybody. Let's talk about it really quickly. These are the kind of green beans that your grandma made. Absolutely it is. I know you all have the memories of watching your grandma snap them green beans, and then you go over and you eat them, and they are mouth-watering. This is it. This is that recipe that you're looking for. Okay, everyone. So also, uh, let's go ahead and taste our broth. We want to taste this pot liquor to see if it's delicious. Okay, and if not, get you some more seasoning in there. And if you wanted to put a little bit more meat in there, now's the time. From the looks of my, I don't need any more meat. Let's taste this. I'm going in. I can't wait. Oh, and look at it. That's all flavor right there in that spoon. I'm tasting it. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Mmm. Listen here, it doesn't need any more seasoning. I'm gonna cover this with foil, let it cook for a half an hour. Those potatoes are gonna be done. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, so I want you all to take a look at these green beans. They taste amazing. Now, all we did, we covered it with foil after we put the potatoes in and we let those potatoes cook for a half an hour. That was all they needed to get nice, beautiful, and fork tender. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're gonna say a really quick prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Fresh home style green beans, Gina Young style. Make you so. Okay, everyone. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. I can't wait any longer. When is the last time you had fresh green beans? I need to make you some Gina Young style. Okay. And look, I loaded it with the meat. That Oh, man. <laughs> oh, baby. Talk about excited. Want you all to take a bite? Let me know what you think. I'm going in. My goodness. Look at this beautiful gorgeousness. Mm. 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 <laughs> the green beans are perfect. They're not mushy. They have a perfect texture, so flavorful, and the meat is so fall aparty. Now, we have to taste that pot liquor I was speaking about. We have to taste it. Mmm. I could sop this pot liquor up with a biscuit. Mmm. One more bite, guys. This time we want, look at that potato. Oh, 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 oh baby, come to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a mouthful. I'm going in, guys. Mm-hmm. 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 So good. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm, that's good.